Welcome to a new update video. As winter has caught up with us, we are focusing the projects inside the house. At the end of the video, we have a little treat for you, which is a silent walkthrough to the wintered market gardening. Although we carefully ripped out the old door frames to reuse them, we found a lot of flaws in them as well the color didn't really fit our expectations anymore. So we decided to build some new frames from wood stock that we had laying around. As I didn't have the right dimensions here, I wasn't able to plane them as straight as I wanted with the machine. Also, there were quite a lot of plane marks left. That's why I decided to switch to the hand planer. These surfaces are just relevant for gluing them up, so the whole thing will be planed later on again. Although through hand planing we didn't remove that much material, but still we ended up a little bit short, so we had to glue on some extra stripes. After the glue up, it was time to round over the frame covers and all the other edges that will be exposed later on. This should provide some tearing out. Here you can see the final result of our lovely rounded edges. We decided to go for a light white, which lets the wood structure still shine through. On 
On the S there was a lot to paint and we had to apply it in two layers. We were very pleased that a new friend of ours showed up and helped us out. Here you can see the final result. Some of them already have their second layer on and I do think they look pretty neat as you still see the structure of the wood underneath it. Although we couldn't make use of the frames anymore, the doors we wanted to recycle, so I sanded them to a point where I could paint them again. Before we painted the frames we made sure they are square and fair so that we can screw them temporarily together to later on fit them when they are painted. Here you can see where we fit the frame covers to the main frame as we already have painted at least one time all of the surfaces. As this were done we took them into the house and fitted them into the new framing in the wall. Although it's a little bit tight and we will have to change some of the dimensions here and there, I'm already pretty pleased with the end result. While you have seen a lot of the framing and construction of the framing in this video, the main work in the last couple of weeks went into plastering the walls. This is a tedious and time consuming process, as it's also rather unthankful if you show it in a video. It looks super fast, although it has been hours of work to make it super straight and bring everything to the finished surface that the rest of the wall already has. As the rough plastering was finally done, we finished to a surface finish plaster which is the last layer before we start painting the walls. This was a really nice experience to finally be at that stage, especially for Wolf and Cutter, as both of them have worked long into the nights in the last days while Ninny and me were focusing on the door frames. As we are not working full time on the building site or the farm, we're very pleased with the progress we've done in such a little time. 
Of course, it always can be a little bit faster, a little bit straighter, but I do think this is part of the process to accept also that things come along the way as they do. One task that we were able to do just one day before winter came, or at least the snow, was finishing up the relocation of our compost. We already started this some weeks ago, but never finished it. Now we had to act as the weather forecast promised snow on the next day. So Ninin and I jumped into action and moved the rest of the compost, or at least the major part of it. If it is of interest to you, this is close to two and a half hours of work. And as promised at the start of the video, here are some silent impressions from our market garden as the first snow of the year covered it up and laid it to winter rest until we will wake everything up in spring again. Enough. 